Whenever I'm alone at home and there's a knock at the door, I always hope it'll be my wife, Laura. She's always forgetting her keys. All right, so let's go ahead and start the day. All right, so we got plenty of officers. Um, so let's go ahead and do the. Actually, let's go destruction of property first. All right, we'll send uh, two of the inexperienced officers here. So let's send um, her and her. And then let's go ahead and attend to this homicide. We'll send two detectives out to that. Hopefully, uh, we'll be able to solve it. Okay, carjacking. Actually, let's check out... Yeah, let's go to the carjacking. Alright, let's send um, Van, Price, and Grant. Hopefully, they'll get some good experience. Go ahead and do the report. Oh, that sucks. Okay. Oh man, that's a oh man, if I fire all the black officers, you know what? I'm not going to do that. All right, suspicious Officer. individual. Oh wait. All right, let's go ahead and wait um at a safe distance. Sweet, we caught him. Oh no, a civilian killed. That's not good. Alright, so suspicious individual, let's go ahead and attend that. Alright, so it looks like maybe a sex offender. Um, let's go ahead and send two good ones out there. Hopefully this chick beats him up. Okay, suspicious individual report. And we caught him. No one was harmed. Sweet. Okay, homicide report. Right, let's go ahead and open that up. Okay, so they said muffled shots. So, I don't know, maybe they're for now. Uh, we'll piece it that way for now. Uh-oh. Fight at a bar. Oh, 
All right, let's send um, let's send all three officers. We'll do um, Taylor and Van. Another fight. What is going on? Let's go ahead and do Yancey, Austin, and hopefully we'll break that up. Okay, so let's see here. So they continue on fighting. Let's try to separate them. Sweet. And no one was hurt. All right, let's check out the report. Okay, fight report. He was caught. Sweet. And it looks like it's the end of the day. All right, so who's working tomorrow? Let's go ahead and do uh, Taylor, Austin, Oh, he can't work. Okay, so we'll do that. All right, let's go ahead and um, go to work. Why would a man need a barn? to store all the stuff you can't bring home. About 30 years ago, back when I was young and interested in farming, I carried all kinds of junk home. After a day in the field, I'd come home with buckets, shovels, dirty boots and clothes, and instantly transform the living room. But even back then, there's something I always kept in the barn. I stopped keeping my pills inside the house because every time I was about to take a triple, someone would knock on my bedroom door. Now they're knocking on my barn door. Well, fine. It's not every day that someone comes to visit your barn. In all the years we worked together, Kendrick never came to visit the house. We drank at bars, went fishing, went to the mountains, even chased off some poachers one time. But he never came for dinner with the family. We never watched football over here. And now he's brought his friends to visit my barn. I always try to look unsurprised, like it's an everyday thing to get visitors at the old barn, especially guests with their own personal bodyguards. But Kendrick is sharp enough to see he's caught me with my pants on backwards. Sorry for the surprise, Jack. We saw you from the car. Figured we'd find you in here. I'm going in for a minute, fellas. These guys will wait outside. How long you been dating the lover boys? They're sans people, Jack. Yeah. So now you're appearing in public with members of the Mafia? Jack, I'm leaving tonight. More like fleeing. Jenny and I are taking the girls and making a run for it. Probably won't be seeing each other again. I've got new documents, a new name, a new life, everything new. The papers say you're still working your last week for the department. I've got to get out today. I won't be getting another chance. Don't know if you noticed, but the whole city is against me. You told your Mafia friends about your plans. Jackie. If I don't fix everything with them in the next few hours, they're going to kill me. And not just me. Hey, that's my family, his fault. my relatives, God, Jack, I don't know who else. They found out that I was planning to run and they demanded that we close our contract today.
Your contract, Frank? Really? Is that how you talk now? Maybe you should call in the lawyers to straighten all this out. Now is not the time, Jack. Please. I have a commitment to them until the end of the year. They need an inside line at police headquarters. I can't just give them back the money. That's not how the Mafia works. If I can't find someone I can trust tonight, I'm dead. You know me, Jack. I wouldn't ask you if I wasn't afraid they'd cut my daughters to pieces before sunrise. He's the damn fool who puts his daughters in the crosshairs in the first place. Anyone in my place would have dressed him down good. But I didn't want to pile it on. Fate's already got this guy's soul in the grinder. Oh man, do we help him or refuse? I mean, he was a dick to us in the beginning. Um, uh, uh, let's, uh, let's go ahead and help him. Done. Don't call me. Don't come to work today. I don't want to see or hear from you again. Time for you to go. Jack. I... Get the fuck out of my nice cozy barn, Frank. Great, so that was helping him out? Oh, okay. At the time, I was trying not to think about what just happened. It was almost too much to take in. I'm probably the most popular police chief in the history of the city, and I have to admit, I've thought about that more than once, sometimes with a little pride, even. In one of the features they wrote about me in the papers, they said it pretty plain. He catches the criminals. Believe me, high praise like that is unheard of in Freeburg, especially for a cop. And here I am, the person who catches criminals, and I've agreed to help the Mafia, or I'll come home to a bag stuffed with my kids' body parts. Right before the last hammer falls. Hey, remember that cop who caught criminals? It turns out he was a Mafia bitch. And all for the sake of a greedy, corrupt cop who should have fled the country years ago. That sound right to you? Yeah, that's fine. Alright, let's go ahead and start the day. Hopefully it's not too rough here. Uh, let's do... What is it? Was that Beethoven? No. We have a nice uh, size of police officers today, so let's go to Eddie's Burger. Alright, let's go ahead and send uh, the bus that we have here. One office should do, hopefully. Okay, fight. Alright, let's go ahead and send uh, Grant and Birch. Alright, so this could turn serious. Let's go ahead and send three of our best officers and hopefully we'll get a handle on that. Awesome. Okay, we got our salary in and we are not going to fire the black people, no way. Okay, there's a robbery here, so let's go ahead and do uh, him on lead. Actually, no. This guy on lead. We'll send both. Alright, let's go ahead and send... Um, hopefully it's quick, these two... You know what? No. Let's send... 
them to Oh, please, we got it. Please. Yes. Destruction of property. So let's see here. Okay, I don't have a lot of choices left here. So let's go ahead and do them three. We got officers coming back to the station. So that's good. Oh, that sucks. Okay, at least no one was killed. Okay, um, destruction of property report. Sweet, no one was harmed. And another report here. All right, let's see if we can solve this. Um, so, lady standing there. Sweet, we closed that out. Uh, we have some more shots here. So, oh man, I don't know. Um, All right, this one's gonna be hard. Let's save it for later. All right, let's send these two. We should be able to catch them, hopefully. Okay, robbery report. Offender caught. Nice. Case close. And one more report, vandalism. And we caught him. Alright, let's go ahead and end the day. Alright, he's working, she's working, he's working, he's working, and he's working.